Number eight, whale-shaped rocks. In Thailand, there is a lot to go and explore and find, and as time has gone on, there have been even more findings that have mystified people in terms of what wonders lurk deep in the wilderness. One of the most startling and astonishing of these discoveries is a series of formations known as the whale-shaped rocks. Specifically, it's known in the land as Hin San Wan, also known as Three Whale Rock, as the rocks are a set and pop out of the ground and out above the nearby trees. Of course, their long shape makes them really appear to be like whales. From the vantage point atop these whales, you can see the beaches of the Mekong, the mountains in the Pakading district of Laos, and Phu Hua Forest. Though, you probably want to be careful, because if you fall off, you'd almost certainly perish in a flash. But how did this trio of rocks get their shape? And why are they only in this one spot in Thailand? Investigators are just not sure, and that's why the mystery around it continues. What do you think? What could have put these rocks here? Is it natural? Or did some ancient people carve these out? These are questions that could keep you up at night, unless you're a tourist, in which case, you can just go and enjoy the formations without caring about the mystery. Number seven, star jelly. There are many mysterious things that fall down from the sky, but few of them are as weird and mysterious as star jelly. This is something that indeed comes down from the skies above, and unlike rain, sleet, hail, or snow, it's gelatinous. That instantly makes it something rather unique. The problem here is that it evaporates once it's on the ground, but numerous people have seen and taken pictures of this star jelly. In fact, some people have actually witnessed it raining down from the sky, causing all sorts of rumors and speculation about where it came from and how it gets created. It has to be some kind of strange mix of chemicals in the upper atmosphere that whips around with evaporated water, right? At least, that's what I think. What else could it be? Thankfully, scientists have gotten pieces of it and studied it. but. The substance doesn't contain many clues as to how it came to be. Even the explanations of how the star jelly gets onto the ground vary. Some say it just rains down, others say it comes from meteor showers, and so on and so forth. Another curious element of things is that star jelly has been around since the 14th century apparently. So how has it been around for so long, and yet we don't know what it is or how it comes to be? People used to think that it was some kind of divine rain, like some sort of biblical miracle, but now the best researchers simply don't have a clear idea of what's behind this strange jelly. Number 6. Bermuda Triangle If anyone thinks they're going to talk about items and discoveries that science can't explain, there's one place that absolutely has to get mentioned. Of course, there's a lot of literature out there about the legendary Bermuda Triangle. The Bermuda Triangle itself is very large, 500,000 square miles, of water that is somewhat anchored by Miami, Bermuda, and Puerto Rico, which form a triangle on the map when you draw imaginary lines between them. Now, given human nature, you'd be well within your rights to believe that the myth of the Bermuda Triangle is an over-exaggerated piece of fiction. Many scientists honestly do fully believe that theory. There have been so many mysterious disappearances that it's impossible to think that something isn't going on here. What's more, despite scientists looking into some of the proven events, meaning things that have happened in the triangle, they can't provide explanations for what went wrong. What do you think is going on? Take these examples. For one, here's the tale of the USS Cyclops. In 1918, the ship set sail, and it was never heard from again once it entered the Triangle. Many believe it sank, somewhere between Barbados and the Chesapeake Bay. However, no wreckage was ever found even with a whole regiment of ships looking for it. As if that wasn't perplexing enough, the Cyclops never sent out a distress signal. Why not? No one knows. A massive search was done in the area of the Triangle that the ship was believed to have sunk in, and not a piece of it its 10,000 pounds of cargo, or its 300-person crew were found. How can that happen without a true scientific explanation? We don't know because a true scientific explanation has never been given. 
and don't think for a second that these are the only cases of disappearance in the triangle. In 1941, two sister ships of the Cyclops set sail and went along the same route into the triangle and they were never heard from again. Then, in 1945, a group of pilots were forced to crash their planes into the waters of the triangle. Why? Because some kind of interference went and messed with their systems. A rescue boat was sent after them, and neither the pilots nor the rescue ships were heard from again. Even Christopher Columbus stated that while he was there, he saw some incredible things, and his compasses weren't working in that area. So this apparently isn't a recent thing, it's an ongoing thing. The reason science can't explain this is because it's near impossible to explain or guess what's going on, especially since many boats and planes have crossed through the Bermuda Triangle without incident, including in the present day. But that raises the question from before. Why is it that so many bad things have happened within this spot of water that defies explanation? How is it the remains of so many planes and ships and people were never discovered after being taken by the Triangle? Scientists have played it down, but they haven't been able to give truly good answers as to what happened to these vessels and people. So, the mystery and lack of explanations continue. Number 5. Morning Glory Clouds Clouds are something that people see every single day. But, in Australia, there's a particular type of cloud that appears often, and there's no clue as to how it does this. This is the mystery of the Morning Glory Clouds. The best way to picture these clouds is to think of long, thin tubes that just stretch out for miles. In fact, the longest measured morning glory clouds have gone 600 miles in length. Think about that for a minute. A cloud staying fully straight for 600 miles from our view on the ground, that would make it seem like the cloud line goes on forever. The truth is, no one knows fully why the clouds form like tubes. There's no full-on explanation. We know that they often form in Australia during the changing of the seasons, but how that correlates to such distinct and massive shapes is unknown. In fact, it's so unknown that not even computer models can understand the forming of morning glory clouds. When computers can't make sense of them, you really have a mystery. There are tidbits that scientists have been able to piece together, including that it's via frontal systems mixed with sea breezes. But the fact that they don't impact the weather overall, and the fact that it doesn't explain everything with these clouds, makes it all the more curious that they form at all. Number 4. Beacon of Maracaibo In Venezuela, there is one spot with lightning that virtually never stops. This is known as the Beacon of Maracaibo. Specifically, this happens every night in western Venezuela over the Catatumbo River. Starting at around 7 o'clock p.m., lightning will start to strike the river and it won't stop for the next 10 hours. This storm happens between 140 and 260 days of the year and can strike around 280 times per hour. Yes, it's absolutely real, and I was baffled when I first heard about it myself. And the thing that is really shocking is that no one is really clear as to why the lightning does this so frequently and so unendingly. There have been many theories, and some science behind those theories, but nothing truly clear-cut. We do know that weather conditions can affect it though, because during a drought in 2010, the event temporarily stopped for a few months. If you still want to know the true extent of the power of these strikes, they are so powerful that they can be viewed around 250 miles away. People have studied this lightning flurry for years, and yet no explanation has been formed. And you truly won't be able to understand this until you go and witness it for yourself. Would you be scared to go to the Catatumbo River and see the beacon? Or would you be fearless? What do you think is going on here? Tell me what you do in the comments below. Then remember to subscribe to The Biggest if you haven't already for more intense videos. Number 3. Naga's Fireballs In Thailand's Mekong River, every single year, a string of fireballs shoot out of the ground. Hundreds of them. What's more, unlike certain other events, this one is consistent for Time Magazine actually did a piece on this and noted that they appear on a late autumn night of the full moon at the end of the Buddhist Lent for as long as anyone can remember. 
The event is so mysterious and rare that some believe that it's a man-made event. They suspect that it's just soldiers across the river from a festival deciding to shoot tracer rounds or flare guns into the air. However, that wouldn't explain all the sights from before the time of enhanced gunpowder. Now, scientific explanations for the event include methane bubbling up from within the river, which could make sense, but how does the methane get set aflame? The more local story is that this has to do with a dragon that resides in the area, hence why it's called Naga's Fireballs. That's a little bit crazy, but so is the idea that soldiers secretly shoot flare guns out of a hiding spot underground. What do you think is the real truth? Number 2. Rogue Wave Rogue waves are massive walls of water that literally come out of nowhere to crash against boats and ships with such terrible impact that many have been sunk because of them. But there's a catch when it comes to rogue waves. Despite their destructive power and the frequency that they've arrived in places at the most remote parts of the world over the years, there's no way of knowing when they'll arrive or even how they form. There are various and numerous explanations for how rogue waves come to be and why they're so ferocious, but no true answers are out there. And that puts a lot of people at risk when they're on certain waters. If you're curious how a wave, even a blindsiding one, can be so effective and destructive that it is to be feared, the answer is simple. These waves are able to reach 50 or 60 feet in height. That means that they can easily cover the entire height of a fishing vessel, including the captain's cabin, which is higher up than the deck. On the show Deadliest Catch, the captains frequently have to look out for rogue waves because they can blindside their ships and cause them all sorts of problems and many crewmen have been injured by rogue waves during the course of the series. It's a very real threat, and the fact that there's no way of predicting when one might come makes it all the more scary. Would you go on a fishing vessel in the icy waters of the Arctic or Antarctic? I certainly wouldn't. Number 1. Raining Animals When you hear that it's raining animals in an area, you might think that someone is just stating that it's raining heavily in an area, right? But that's not exactly true, because all over the world at random points and times, animals have literally rained down from the sky. You might have heard stories that spiders have rained down, but this has also happened with fish, tadpoles, frogs, worms, and even snakes. It can't be predicted, and it can't be explained. The common theory is that a tornado or water spout for the aquatic animals caught the creatures, flung them up in the sky, and then they came crashing down. The problem is that certain cases with the water creatures have been miles inland, so nowhere near where the water spout would have been around. Furthermore, the timing isn't often all wrong, and gravity doesn't just stop because it wants to. So why did it take so long for them to get down after being sucked up? And to be clear, there are plenty of videos out there about these animals raining down. Of course, these bizarre situations from throughout recent history have no doubt puzzled many scientists when they saw the footage. Thank you all for watching. Are you surprised that so many of these events are mystifying scientists? Which ones do you personally find the most intriguing? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time right here on The Biggest.